Hey everybody, welcome back to my carving shed here in Virginia. My name is Hunter. We have an awesome, exciting video today, so stay tuned. We're gonna get to making some bone dust soon. So let's go. Okay, so today's topic is making some sunglasses, some bone sunglasses, as you can tell. So this is going to actually be a fairly complex project. It's probably going to take several videos to do. It's a lot of fine details that we had to work out. Definitely going to learn a, a lot about kind of bone finishing, sanding, that type of thing, cutting. Uh, so we're going to get into that. Today's video, I don't have all the materials I need. So I'm going to order some of that this week, uh, but we're going to make kind of a prototype to kind of see how this could potentially work. So I know some of you hillbillies out there are like, Hunter, why aren't you carving skulls? What's all this crafty stuff that you're doing? Well, I'm getting caught up on projects and this has been an idea of mine to make some bone sunglasses for a while. And I even tried to pass it off onto another artist who's extremely good at carving bone and he hasn't done it yet. So it's, uh, I guess it falls onto myself to do the idea that I came up with. So, um, the it is going to be from a jawbone, a mandible, so technically I am still working, kind of, I guess depending on your definition, on a skull. I am going to, I think the best mandible jaw to use is going to be a horse. Now, I do have one, as you can see, but this particular horse skull and mandible um, I am doing a project with. I'm doing an open dentition where you see the teeth and all that kind of stuff. But um, it's extremely flat. It's very large, very flat on the side. And I think that's going to work really well for making a pair of sunglasses. Now, to do kind of the prototype, just get into carving some bone while we wait on some stuff to come in, uh, I'm going to use a cattle mandible. Um, it's a lot rounded and it's it would be a lot for the lenses to fit in there and stuff like that so i'm going to go for a more flat look um but we'll start on the cow mandible and kind of go from there so ultimately we're going to end up with three pieces of bone for the sunglasses so you have your main frame here which is going to hold your lenses and we'll get a better idea of this as we go. And then you'll have each of the side pieces that it uses to hold onto your ears. So three pieces in total. We'll start with the main frame here and then go from there. Now, really quickly, I wanted to show you, um, this is a piece from the uh, horse mandible that I am working on for a different project but I wanted to show you kind of the structure and stuff. So I'm gonna zoom in here. All right, this is the exterior bone, nice and flat. The interior has um, a lot of different structures and that is what's holding in the teeth. So you get a lot of different variation there, but the actual bone itself or the thickness is pretty decent all around, uh, fairly thick. So I think uh, it's definitely something we can work with. We'll have to sand down all of this, obviously, to get the backside nice and smooth, just like the front. Um, but I think it's definitely doable. Now I have to say something um, kind of about the process on how I go about projects most of the time. Um, Generally speaking, I just jump into a project. I don't actually do a whole lot of planning out, designing, calculating, stuff like that. I just start. Um, for me, that works best. I, I get into it, I see where you know I need to kind of define the problems and the issues, and then I change things, I rearrange them, I revise them in the moment, kind of in the project as I'm going. That's not necessarily always the best thing to do, um, but for me, that's how I kind of learn best. So for instance, this project, I could do a ton of research as far as 
uh, what types of lenses to use, what styles of frames there are, the hardware that I'll need. Um, but I'm just gonna jump into doing a prototype. That will give me a better idea of how bone itself is actually gonna kind of what um, uh, shapes and stuff I'll actually be able to work with. And then from there, I'll kind of refine uh, what I need and what direction I'll need to go with the actual bone frames. Yeah, I think we got it. Let's see here. Oh yeah. All right, so there's the inside. This one, this kind of mandible is pretty, uh, Greasy, as you can tell, but it'll work for what we're doing. So we're like not even an hour into the project and I already broke it. My drill bit got stuck uh, while I was drilling the hole to drill out or cut out the inside of the for the lens and I tried banging it out with a hammer not a good idea but since it's a prototype glad I did it with this one uh, I'm just gonna glue it back together and just continue from there So day two, and I'll show you where we are at right now. We have our sides done, and I learned these are called the temple, temple parts of the frame. Then we have our main frame here. Still have a lot of material on the back there. Still a lot of grease uh, on there to get rid of. But uh, you're gonna notice that there is a pretty strong wave in the frame here. Um, again, this is just a prototype to see if this is feasible and 
Uh, I still think, I think we're on track. I think this is going to work, not necessarily with this pair of uh, glasses, but the one in the future. So we're going to continue with this. It's going to look pretty wanky or wonky. Um, so we'll see how it turns up. Um, next step is just to clean out the inside uh, for where the lenses go. I can never figure out where I put my pencil. So let me see if I can, there it is, on the ground. Okay, in order for the lenses to fit into the frame, the frame itself uh, has to be, or the outside edge, uh, outside layer, I guess you want to call it, of the frame has to be slightly smaller than the lens. So the lens is going to pop into the frame itself. So I'm going to trace the lens out and then just make sure that when I sand down the inside of the frame here, I don't go all the way to that line. we're getting there with the prototype next we are going to tackle um, the hinges for the temples connecting to the main frame um, my idea is for the main frame um, have a little notch in see if I'm doing this right and then on the temple you'll have a little notch out and there will be a pin that runs through the uh, notch there and these two notches on the main frame and that'll be the pivot point uh, for the sides. Hopefully that works out. Um, there are issues with that concept and we'll cover that later with a flat design like this uh, but let's go ahead and do that. I drilled the holes for the temples here. That seemed to go pretty well. Uh, I'm going to use, I have a bunch of little dentist burrs and I'm gonna use those for the pins. I have like a trezillion of those, so I'm not worried about that. But I'm gonna use those for the pins. Next up, sorry, I've got something in my mouth, candy. Um, I'm gonna do the lenses. And the idea with that is to carve a trench inside of that frame for those lenses to pop into. Easier said than done, um, but again, I'm just getting for the, getting the feeling of it this time around. So let's do it. Okay guys, we're gonna try to punch in the first lens. Not sure it'll work, but let's give it a go. Yeah. I think I still got, I still need to remove some material maybe, let's see. Yeah, all right, I'm gonna re remove a little bit more material. Okay, take number two. Let's get some focus, there we go. I took some material off the top right and off the bottom, so 
Oh. I think. Hey, I'll, there we go. I'll take that. It's obviously not in there super, hey, there we go. Clicked in there. Okay, well, it's a better fit than I thought. Especially for that side. That's the most warped side. Cool. Oh, I heard one click. Yeah. I'm happy. Okay, everybody, the lenses are in. Like so. Pretty fancy, eh? I'm gonna finish everything up, just do some sanding to the bone itself, uh, you know, shape it out a little bit more, put on the temples, put my little pins in. Uh, I will super glue those in on the frame side. That way, the temples can still move. And then we're gonna call it a day on these. So, learned a lot. Uh, Let's check back in when these are completely done. have it folks thank you for watching um, pretty happy with how the uh, this first go around came out um, the temples are functional somewhat um, they don't go in all the way problem I will address in the next video and if you notice I'm not wearing them that is because uh, because of the warp in the frame this one points in too much and I can't open it enough to put it on my face and I don't really want to break it so uh, for now, this one's just for looks. Again, just a prototype to uh, potentially a fabulous pair of sunglasses in uh, the coming videos. So do please consider subscribing if you like what you're seeing. And uh, I'm definitely gonna go into some detail about, again, working with bones, sanding it, finishing it, and that type of stuff. And kind of the, some of the mechanics of uh, the sunglasses themselves, if you do wanna give this a try. Pretty straightforward, but again, just a couple little things to keep in mind. So I will see you next time. Thanks for spending time with me in my shed here in Virginia. All right, thanks guys. Bye.